Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wizard101 video. I was thinking about, you know, different systems they could add to this game because that's always what I like to brainstorm. How could King's Isle improve this game? And I was thinking and I was like, you know, what's a very underutilized system that I feel like they just kind of shoehorned in a long time ago and never really did anything with? The badge system. You may be asking, no, where are you going with this? They're badges. Like, what do you want? They're just minor titles you can put under your character, just, you know, just to, to show, yeah, okay, I'm a giant smasher, you know, something like that. Just a minor and interesting little tidbit to the game. Well, what I would like to argue is I think that King's Isle could make badges into something interesting, something unique, and something that would actually benefit the game as a whole. So without further ado, let me get into it. Let me get into what I think they could do to change badges to be a very interesting system. So how are badges currently? Well, there's three main ways to actually get a badge. The first is through a quest, the second is through defeating enemies, and the third is through completing some miscellaneous objective somewhere else. I think that currently right now, those are all interesting ways to get a badge and those shouldn't be changed. I think those are good enough and actually do what the badge system is supposed to do, which is make you do things that you wouldn't normally do in a natural progression of playing and explore different ways and opportunities a world has. What I would like to argue and what I think is that the badge system should be made even more interesting and more captivating and actually have a draw in to get more people to actually get badges. So first off, I'm going to go into why I think they should do that. Then I'm going to go into how I think they should do that. So why am I talking about badges in the first place? And why do I think adding a interesting and unique badge system would benefit this game as a whole? Well, it's very, very simple in my opinion. Badges are designed for a very specific reason that I kind of alluded at earlier. And that is to bring the player to do things that they wouldn't normally do. Like, do you think that my fire just goes around killing 4,000 undead just for fun? No, he doesn't actually do that. Badges are giving a character a reason to do something different. And why I think this is important and why I think expanding this is important is because what is King's Isle's main objective right now? You may have heard, because I've said it a few times, what they want to do is they want the players to enjoy the game. They want the players to not rush through it and actually have a good time exploring what Wizard 101 has to offer. And I think this is really important as well because you may or may not know this, Wizard 101 has thousands of hours of content in it. I've played this game for tens of thousands of hours and I probably could play it for tens of thousands of hours more. It's not a matter of that there's a lack of content, it's a matter that there is a lack of interest in the content. People really just don't find interest in going out of their way, exploring, doing different things. And as a result, they just rush through the game to get to the end game and finish it there. Well, that is why I would like to see this new badge system. I believe what they could do is they could add different rewards and different interesting redeemable items, different benefits, bonuses to badges that would actually make people go out of their way to explore and experience the game in ways that they haven't done before, which is what I would really like to see because a lot of people, and I know this as a fact, I'm willing to bet like 95% of my audience probably hasn't finished every side quest in most of the worlds. Like I bet that there's a large portion of people who haven't finished every side quest in any world. And I feel like that's a shame and something that I would like to change. So what could they do? What could they add? Well, one thing I would like to bring up that I think would be interesting for earlier worlds would potentially be a minor XP reward. Now, this isn't something I think is necessary. I don't think this is needed, but it's just an idea of a reward. A game that I'm thinking of specifically is Star Wars The Old Republic. It's an MMO that's been out for almost just as long as Wizard 101. There are side objectives, almost like badges, but not entirely. There are side objectives that the player can complete that are different tasks, whether it be kill this amount of enemies or disable this like system, whatever, X amount of times, very similar to what a badge is, and it gives them a minor XP reward, a minor credits reward, which is similar to gold. I think that this is an interesting and unique way that they could do it, and it would actually drive you to go out of your way to do something, like, you know, kill 50 Crocotopians. If you got like a minor 1000 XP reward for that, maybe some people would do it. But what people really want, and I think that this is what could be a deciding factor, 
would be actual items that can benefit them. So, for example, I think it would be really cool if for certain badges they gave a reward like maybe a hatching elixir, maybe an energy elixir, whatever, and then improve the rewards as the difficulty of badge improves. You can see a lot of Arc 1 and even Arc 2, I have almost every badge in the world. That's because I am weird and I like going out of my way to farm badges, but I think it would be really cool if, say, you get all nine of the badges in Dragon Spire, you get something major, like maybe a backpack expansion elixir, something like that, where it's you get a crown reward for actually exploring the game and going out of your way to do it. This kills two birds with one stone, in my opinion. First off, it actually allows people to go out of their way to explore worlds in the ways that they haven't done before. Like, I'm willing to bet most people haven't even completed almost any side quest in Dragon Spire, so that would be an interesting way to do that. And it also gives players more rewards and more reason to play the game for what it is. I think this would be really beneficial for both the game and for the player base to actually have a reason to do stuff like this. Another interesting thing I think they could do is maybe spellaments, right? We currently need a way to introduce spellaments in the game in a way that's free to play, and this is something that I know people have been looking for solutions for a long time for, and I think, why not? This is the perfect way to do it. For example, certain badges in Wizard City maybe give the fire cat if you're a fire or the frost beetle. And this would give people at a lower level an opportunity to actually complete it in a way that's grindy, but not super grindy. Like, defeating Lord Nightshade can give you some, and that just comes naturally. Hero of Unicorn Way, complete all quests in Unicorn Way, that's also a natural progression. It's a way to do it that wouldn't potentially limit the spell element drop, and also give spellaments a reason to be in the game in a natural way. And then obviously this could be expanded further, like say they add spellaments to the tier five spells, for example. The spells like Phoenix, Minotaur, I can't think of any others because it's been so long since I've been level 30, but say they added that to Dragonspire or Mushu, and it gave just a reason to actually do these and differing levels of difficulty give differing rewards. I think that would be a really interesting way to expand not only a system we already have, but a system that is in dire need right now of expansion. So ultimately, to wrap this all up and for King's Isle, what would this change do? Well, it would do exactly what they're intending to, adding different ways to explore different worlds. That would be something that King's Isle wants in regards to both making money and exploring their game and having the player base diversify in their game. Boom, that's one step. Two, it gives players some much needed items and rewards that they've been wanting for a long time, right? Where they have things like certain crown items that you can get for relatively cheap, but actually take effort to get. It's not just giving a free handout, it's actually giving players a reason to do something and getting items that should realistically be in the game more often in my opinion and overall it just adds a new system that i think would genuinely be interesting because as for side systems right we have things like crafting which is definitely boring i would consider crafting to be one of the most boring ones if gardening which is really a once a day kind of activity like i log on once a day do gardening fishing which i know some people think is fun but i'm pretty sure most people don't consider fishing to be fun fishing is useful can be and then monstrology which monstrology has literally no reason to do it ever badges would be a new interesting side system that would give players a reason to actually do it so that's really it for today i hope this video brought some interesting ideas to your head interesting ideas to maybe king's isles head whatever let me know what you think and in the comments leave some like additions maybe you want to see this or maybe you want to expand upon something i said start a discussion i like discussions you know but that's it so i would like to say thank you all for watching i will see you in the next video adios